What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and this video may seem like it came out of nowhere, but it's important. Trust me. So, not too long ago, Toys for Bob retweeted some Crash Bandicoot fan art, which is nothing new, they've done it a few times before, but this particular piece of fan art was an animated gif of Crash Bandicoot using American Sign Language. The art was by Twitter user Shade the Wolf, I'll link it in the description below, and the caption read, I had canon that Crash knows ASL, or American Sign Language. Initially, you may be thinking this is nothing big or huge, just another little character trait or quirk they could add to Crash. And I had that thought at first glance too, and if I had stopped there, this video wouldn't have happened. But even after just a minute of thinking, I realized how important and cool this would be for Crash to have. The important part of this is representation. We can use Crash to represent those with disabilities in video games. Now you don't need to have a disability to use and learn sign language, many people in my family know it. But a popular trait of Crash Bandicoot is that he doesn't verbally speak. He's obviously not deaf as he responds to noises around him and can understand what other characters are saying. Unless of course he's just feeling the vibrations of the noises and he's reading the other characters' lips. But the popular trait of Crash Bandicoot is that he doesn't speak, and that in itself is its own disability called mutism. And there's all sorts of different types of variations. Some people can still make sounds while others can't. It may be mental for some and physical for others where they can't speak at all because of an accident, perhaps. And some people even have selective mutism related to anxiety, where they can speak in places they're comfortable and can't in places where they're not. Anyways, the point is, instead of having Crash's character trait just vaguely be he doesn't speak, actually give it a name. Give him mutism. Crash is one of gaming's greatest heroes. He's one of the unofficial mascots for the PlayStation in the 90s. He's beaten and outsold Mario on a couple occasions and had one of the biggest revivals in video game history. It would be extremely empowering for one of gaming's greatest icons to have a disability, showing that no matter how much trouble you have hearing, seeing, or in this case speaking, you're still capable of anything you put your mind to. So yes, I think giving Crash mutism and having him use American Sign Language to communicate is very, very important. Now the less important, but still cool part of this is that it could help storytelling in future Crash games. As much as I love the games in the series like Crash Twin Sanity and the recently released Crash Bandicoot 4, they both have a very similar problem in that Crash isn't very involved in the story of his own game. It's usually either Coco, Aku Aku, or in Twin Sanity's case Cortex, who leads the way and gives exposition for the plot, while Crash just kinda stands there with a goofy face, until it's time for him to do something wacky and make a funny sound. But if Crash actually had mutism and used American Sign Language to communicate, he could actually contribute dialogue to the game without actually speaking. This could make him extremely important to the stories of his own games without having to strip away any of his iconic character traits. He can still walk around and make funny sounds and do wacky slapstick cartoon things, but he should be able to get involved too. There's been proper representation of mutism in children's media before, and sometimes it's even important to the plot, like Phil the Chimp from Madagascar. Phil is the only animal in the movie that's capable of reading, but he can't speak, he has mutism, so he communicates and translates what he read through American Sign Language. And no, they didn't just animate some random hand signs on him, he's actually doing real ASL, and his translator relays exactly what he's saying. So if it weren't for Phil being able to read and communicate that information through sign language since he has mutism, the penguins would have never known where they were going, they never would have taken over and hijacked the ship, thus the entire plot of the movie pretty much would not have happened. And that same level of story importance could be added to Crash through the use of sign language. Now Crash wouldn't need a translator or anything, you could just subtitle the sign language for us who don't know it, and just automatically have everyone in the plot understand him to save animation time instead of having a character translate everything he says. But the point of this is the fact that he would be able to contribute to the plot through communication and dialogue. So giving Crash mutism and having him communicate through ASL would be amazing for representation, and would also help Crash get involved in his own games more. I'm serious about this too, and I really think it should be canon, so I'm starting up a hashtag, and it's been on screen this entire time, Teach Crash ASL. I encourage you all to use the hashtag as well, share this video around, let Toys for Bob, Vicarious Visions, Beanox, whoever's working on the next Crash game know, and let's make it happen people! If we can get Iron Checkpoint Crate as a playable character in CTR through a Reddit meme, we can certainly accomplish this. So let's teach Crash ASL. I'll see you guys next time. Leopold the Brave, out.